This 2004 Corolla has the check engine light on and the customer said the, the light has been on for years since the catalytic converter was replaced. I don't have a lot of information about why that was replaced. The car runs okay. Its fuel economy is low. And looking at the codes, I think we know why, and I think I know how to fix that today. So on this diagnostic tool, if we look at the stored codes, and I verified these do, these do come back up. With P0171, system two lean bank one. Since this is L4, this is the, the only injector bank. And P0420, catalyst system efficiency below threshold bank one. There's only one set of cat banks of the upstream and downstream. So additionally, there's P0441, evaporative emission system incorrect purge. P0442, evaporative emission system leak detected. And P0446, evaporative emission system vent control circuit. Now, on 2004, 2005, Corollas, the gas filler neck can be the reason for all of the P044 codes. So there's a couple parts we're going to replace to address that. We're going to change the catalytic converter sensors because the sensors were not changed when the cat was changed. And this car has 142,000 miles on it. And the system too lean, there's a good chance that that has to do with the intake manifold gasket being worn out. I'll give you the part number and I'll explain why when we look at the part. To address those codes we just read, we're going to install these parts. It can be pretty cheap and can get your fuel economy back. Each group of these codes that we're going to address may be, you may only be getting those codes. So for P0171, System 2 Lean, this is a replacement improved design for the intake manifold. The 1ZZFE engine has been noted that the intake manifold gasket can break down and allow an extra air. This is a, a rubbery gasket. So replacing that may allow the computer to properly mix fuel and air because the amount of air that should be passing through the manifold now is. You can get this code by itself and this gasket may be all you need. Very straightforward replacement. For P0420, catalytic system efficiency below minimum, we know the catalytic converter was replaced However, the sensors were not. And judging by the mileage, these sensors may be all that needs addressed. So we're installing them in a pair, the upstream and downstream catalytic sensors, to address that and allow the computer to properly sense catalytic conversion and hopefully get some fuel economy back. To address the last three codes, P0441, P0442, and P0446, I'm going to replace the fuel filler neck and the gas cap. This is based on the fact that this is the 2004 model year Corolla and Toyota service bulletin EG051-66 says that the fuel filler neck has an inferior design of which there is an update for, and that's what this one is. You can see that because of the placement of the fuel filler neck in the fuel system, fuel vapors are supposed to be cycled by the neck. The TSB says that replacement of this fuel filler neck 
and the gas cap should address P0441 and P044X codes when they show up together if there's no known other issues. So hopefully this will address all of the codes and improve fuel economy on this Corolla and we can still get a lot of miles out of it. So let's get them on there. To get the intake manifold off, there's five bolts and nuts, one down here, four across here, holding this guy on there. The only thing that's a little tricky is it's two coolant lines going through the throttle body. So if you just pinch those off, you won't have a leak. And then the intake manifold and the throttle body can come off and we can change that gasket. So the three vacuum lines I've pulled off the throttle body and the two small coolant lines in the back of it I have plugged. So now the two wiring harness plugs on the throttle body have been removed and I just flipped up these cable straps and I've taken out the five bolts so now with a little bit of wiggling I should be able to pull this back and change the gasket The gasket's pretty flat and it's pretty hard. So hopefully the new gasket will help that situation. I'm going to clean this. I'm going to clean the gasket surface where it mates. To do the upstream catalytic converter sensor, we disconnect it from its harness. And then you need one of these, which is a deeper 22 millimeter sensor socket because it has to get pretty far past the heat shield. But it, you only have so much room up here. So now I can put a wrench on here and loosen the sensor, put the other one in. To replace the filler neck, I remove the bolts that hold this wheel well plastic shield on, the filler neck is right here. If we undo the fasteners that hold it on there, then we can pull the fill neck out and disconnect the rubber from the hard lines and then install the new filler neck in its place. Here's the new filler neck installed. It just sits in that rubber collar. On each of the wheel well mounting points, the new filler neck did not come with these inserts.
these coarse thread screws go into these green inserts. So I took them off the old filler neck so that I can make sure that I can reattach the wheel well cover for this. I had to take this bracket off, which attaches the rocker to the subframe so that I could get the filler neck off because I took off the clamp closest to the gas tank and then took this all out as one piece and put the new rubber back on the new fill neck and then brought it back to the gas tank like this.